All right, I'm going to show you guys what a typical day of feeding six crazy monsters is like. I've got the food already open. Got rooster's food out. I got rooster's plate out. I've got dishwater ready to wash the bowls. Now what I have to do is go outside and kind of scope out where all the bowls are. I already know where most of them are. So let's go out and out. I'm going to sneak out the back because as soon as Libby is tipped off, as soon as I tip, touch that first bowl, they all will know what time it is. Alright, as of right now, she doesn't know nothing. Okay, I've already spotted her bowl. And there's Libby. <laughs> and there is a Miss Tilly. As soon as Libby starts barking, that's going to alert them all. All right, I gotta grab this first bowl here. I may be able to make it to the porch. Ah, there's another bowl. Oh, I went and did it. I made noise. There's another mongrel. This one in here, Waldo, he freaks out every day since he was a puppy. Is it time? Is it supper time? Oh, you hungry? There's Miss Lily. Yeah, you guys are suddenly getting woke up. All right. We're having beef today. Beef. Alright. The cat is out of the bag. Help! Help! Well, the dog's out of the bag. It's okay. Brewster, are you hungry? Yeah, your lips are going. Alright. I have secured all the bowls and we are hightailing it at this point. Alright. Every day, bowls get washed, brought them back, bleach water and soap. I just did my dishes, so. If one of the dogs would happen to be sick or something, I don't ever want them to get sick from another one's bowl. You wouldn't want to eat out of a dirty bowl either. Yeah, there is that. And the big one's Libby or Lily's bowl. She's got the biggest head. She doesn't do well with a small bowl. Let me get a dish now. You hear the commotion? Every day. Wait you see how Waldo acts when I get in there. All their dog food in a tote. Let me get, sorry guys. Each dog gets one heaping cup out of this. Two, three, four, five. I think I went one too many. too much. There's a lot of nutrients in this food. They don't need any more than that. Okay, then we get a fork. Today we're having chopped beef. 
Rooster doesn't really like this, but what I do is I'll cover it in our chicken gravy. We usually get chicken or rooster fed first. I hope y'all can see. Alright. These are her favorite. Favorite suppers. And she gets dry food too all the time. So if I kind of mingle that in her gravy, her chicken gravy, now she won't know the difference. All right, let's take this on out to Miss Rooster. She'll start licking the gravy first. You ready for yours? You ready for yours? There you go. Are you waiting for supper? Every day I mix one of these big cans, I split them between six dogs. Give them a little meat, moisture. They all gotta get the same amount. God forbid if one of them found out one of them got more than the other. in the tilly out there and I just mix it in there give him, give him a little scrape the fork give him a little side bowl licking this time of year I don't got any trouble getting these dogs to eat but when it gets warm you don't want to eat, and I actually back off on the amount I give them. Because they're not going to eat it. Side bowl lickings. Alright, there's a certain order to this if you want to end the chaos soon. Alright, Waldo and Lily. Then we got Libby. Uh, ooh, we got some spillings. We got Libby, Millie, and the other one, Telly. Is that a good rooster? Who wants supper? All right, you guys get fed after these crazy Juan Kenobis. Are you a crazy Juan Kenobi? He just goes nuts. So get back. Yeah. Come on, monster. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, I'm coming. See, this is stressful stuff, man. Feed these monsters. Here you go, baby girl. You guys satisfied? All right. What are you trying to say, Tilly? Have I ever starved you? There's rooster going to town. Are you hungry? Yeah. What the heck was that? Can you say that again? Who wants supper? I know, I'm teasing you guys. And they play musical bowls. Or, um, Melly. Melly, you're a food hog. Come on, Tilly. Feed monster. You got that old rug caught up on your table. I'll get it loose. What do you got going? Here, give me this. Alright. She will bite you around food. You gotta be careful. I don't hang around. <laughs> Tilly and Millie's probably swap balls. If not, they will. Is that good? Now there's peace in the valley. Now I get them all fresh water. See, there she goes. That's not very nice, Millie. 
Does that scare you? All right, guys, that's a typical day of feeding. Brought to you by Dog Man. All right, we're not done yet. After supper, each dog gets a treat. Rooster gets a bacon treat. She will not eat milk bones in the daytime. These, these two are getting dipped milk bones. So you want one? She won't eat it. Did you want a dip for milk ball? She's gonna take that out in the yard and she's gonna bury it. Did you want dipped or undipped? Mm -hmm. Lily's first, ladies first. Ooh. Now, dinner is complete. Why did you take, did you eat that milk? No, you didn't eat it. You just wanted it because it come out of a package. That was all you wanted. You wanted it because it come out of a package. You just got one of these. You don't eat that milk bone. You're gonna bury it over in that corner and it'll never be seen again, along with 500 other things you don't like. All right, I gotta go give Libby hers. Now, the best way to give Libby hers is to sneak out the back door past these two. They won't suspect a thing. They both learn their lessons with Libby though. They know if they come over here, she's gonna get them. Expecting hers. I got two dipped milk bones. If you have any complaints, doing good, huh? All right, guys. There you go. Happy trails. Are you guys eating out of the same bowl? Well, there's no more. You got a piece of grass in your eye. Your eyes are like booger magnets. Yeah. Get you a drink of fresh water.